In the previous video, we have already seen about a typical cervical vertebra. In this video, we are going to have a look at the first cervical vertebra, which is also called as the atlas. Let's try to identify the atlas from all the other cervical vertebrae, which is pretty simple. Atlas is like a ring. It does not have a body. Neither does it have a spinous process. It has two distinct parts. The smaller part here is called as the anterior arch and this bigger part is called as the posterior arch. It has these masses on either side called as the lateral masses, the right and the left lateral mass and these two processes are called as the transverse process. The anterior arch as we can see here, has a small midline tubercle on its anterior aspect and a small oval shaped structure here, an oval facet on the posterior surface. This is where the dens of the second vertebrae is going to fit in during the formation of atlantoaxial joint. The posterior arch is also having a midline posterior median tubercle and it has two grooves on upper surface one on each side just behind the lateral masses the lateral masses have two distinct surfaces an upper surface and a lower surface the upper surface has superior articular facets these facets are elongated and they are directed forwards and medially. So they will be directed forwards and medially. They will usually be concave and these will form the atlanto-occipital joint. The lower surface here as you can see also has articular process. These are called as the inferior articular facet. They are almost circular as compared to the slightly elongated structures present on the upper surface. They are more or less flat and they are directed downwards, medially and backwards. The two transverse processes jut out on either side. They are usually uh, quite long and they are pierced as you can see here by foramen transversarium. This is how we identify the atlas.